At a time when the government is preparing itself to fight the coronavirus on war footing, it is facing an unusual crisis, its very own bureaucracy. After officers did not show up yesterday and today despite the government's directive on the weekend, a key ministry has put out a letter that warns that absentees will be sacked. Election strategist turned politician Prashant Kishore, one of the sharp critics of the modalities of the lockdown, to the question if the government has a plan in case the extension of the restriction proves ineffective. He asked if he have an alternative plan or the will to course correct. WHO voiced confidence on Monday that the United States would continue funding the UN agency despite President Donald Trump's criticism of WHO's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. U.S. Secretary of the State Mike Pompeo said last week that the Trump administration was re-evaluating U.S. funding to the body, saying international organizations utilizing U.S. taxpayers' money needed to deliver on their goals. The United States is the biggest overall donor to the WHO. In his address to the nation this morning, PM Narendra Modi announced that India will extend the lockdown till May 3rd with even sterner measures to ensure that the spread of coronavirus is checked. He highlighted that India has so far been able to control the spread due to early lockdown. He also indicated that some economic activities for daily wage labourers may be resumed from April 20th after a review. The businesses may be permitted in the COVID-19 free areas but with social distancing condition applied. All passenger train services on the Indian railways, including premium trains, mail express trains, passenger trains, suburban trains have been suspended till midnight of the 3rd of May. For the trains cancelled by the Indian railways, full refund will be provided automatically by the IRCTC. Users need not cancel their e-tickets. Full fare will be credited back into the user's account from which the payment was made. The Director General of Civil Aviation announced that all domestic and international flights will also remain suspended till May 3rd. Congress leader P. Chidamram said that while it is compulsion to extend the lockdown till May 3rd, the PM's speech was hollow as he made no mention of a financial package for the needy in the days ahead. He demented that the government was deaf to the advice of the experts like Raghuram Rajan and Abjit Banerjee and he charged the government for not caring for the livelihood for the poor.